and welcome to another booktube video from me, Lauren, from Lauren and the Books. And today I'm going to be, we're in the aftermath of Cozy Reading Night, which took place last night, Saturday the 11th of November, February, between 7 and 10. It was bliss. It was lovely. We had a really, really nice time. So many people joined in. I'm so grateful and thankful to everyone who joined in. I hope you all had a really lovely time. Um, I didn't finish any books, but I... Um, did some lovely reading, so I'll talk about the books that I was reading um, at the end, but I've got a little vlog now um, of the evening. My cousin Laura came round um, to assist me. David was away on a stag do. He's home now, very tired. Um, so Laura came round and we had a lovely reading night. Um, and here is the vlog. Hello, welcome Hello. to Cozy Reading Night. This is, this is Laura, you know her from previous videos of, of Book Chat. That fire in the background is crackling. crackling away, isn't it? I'm gonna pause it. Um, it's, Cozy reading night, we're very excited. We're feeling pumped, but also chilled and relaxed. Yes. It's nice, isn't Cozy it? Cozy pumped. Cozy pumps are like, yeah. That sort of level of, yeah. So it's not actually due to start yet. We've got 40 minutes, but we thought we'd just do a little intro. What I'm reading, what you're reading, maybe show the food that we're gonna be eating. I don't even feel that hungry, but I know that I will Because I've eaten quite a few cinnamon rolls. These are supposed to be eaten. I'm having one now. These are supposed to be had. Like during the time, and we've just gone through it. How nice though, aren't they? They're from IKEA. They're from a little known shop. Hmm. Swedish. IKEA. Independent. They're some independent. Sometimes you get them in like very, very small villages. Mm. But, mm. very nice. Let's show what we're reading. So, yeah. <laughs> I've already uh, talked about what I'm reading, but I'll just go over it again. So, I'm going to. Why gonna, not? I'm going to start with Northern Lights by Philip Pullman. Love it. Have you read this? All three. Mm -hmm. Did you feel very emotional? Mm. So emotional. So you start with that. To the point where if I see somebody reading them, I'm jealous that they're experiencing it for the first time. I'm like, ah, oh, you, mm. I know how you feel. At the end of it, I had to go and shut myself in a bathroom <laughs> and like actually like, not just like, remember, like, uh, uh, like that sort of crying. Oh. Mm. Upset. Then I'm gonna, the second hour, I split mine into hours. Seven to eight, I'm going to read this. Eight to nine, I'm going to read this. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Shock. Mm. I really wanted to read it. But it's just nice. Oh, look, the only page that's Oh, hello. Oh, it's all happening. What's that? Um, breakfast in bed this week. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> rude things that me and David are going to do. No rude things. Just nice things I was going to do for David. Jesus, it's just all happening in there. I'll get rid of that. And then I'm going to round up with my cousin Rachel by Daphne de Maurier. With your cousin Nora. My cousin Nora. My cousin... Laura. Yeah. I'm Laura, what are you going to be reading? <laughs> these are all new books. I haven't actually started, <laughs> sort of, haven't started any of these yet. First one is The Year of Living Danishly, which I was gifted when I did the last video with Lauren, which is very exciting. So it's actually two, one of two non-fiction books in my little pile. Repertoire. Mm -hmm. um, which is very unusual for me. I normally go straight up fiction, no messing. I've been getting bang into non-fiction though. Huh. It's nice. This is it, really. I'm pleased you're reading that because I'm going to start filming when I've got through all my pals of people who want to be in videos, some people I'm having to really force into it, my book chat videos, then I'm going to start doing another book chat with, and I was going to ask if you would like to film another video, and then during which we discuss the books that we recommended each other. And you're asking me... Will you do it? On the internet. Yeah. Yeah! <gasps> For you! Then I'm reading The Trap, which is part of uh, the current book in Lauren's Facebook book club, um, which is um, translated from German. Mm -hmm. Prize to anyone who knows what The Trap is in German. Die blah blah. Die Trappen? Sure. Uh, Von Trappen? By Melanie Raba. Are we pronouncing it? Oh, I said Rab, but Raba okay, Rab. Rab. right, yeah. Uh, don't actually know anything about it other than something, someone's sister's died and she knows. Who killed her? And this is all about Ravi. I've got hair on my face. Can you see it? No, I can't. See um, it. And it's about her revealing that she knows who killed her sister. Is that right? Yeah. So she, her, and her sister get attacked when they're younger, and her sister dies. Um, she survives the attack, and then years later, and, and can never remember who did it. Years later, she's watching daytime TV, and she's like, "That man is the man that killed my my sister, okay. and attacked me." And it's the TV presenter. And she Isn't writes a, a book about spoiler? it. No, okay. this all happens very early. She writes a book about it. She's just seen him again on TV. Yeah. She writes a book about it. We'll only give one interview to him. This is it. And mm. the... Oh, it's very small. Yeah. Yeah. 
Anyway, and then finally, this is a po very popular. I think this is like number one on Amazon at the moment. Uh, how to grow a baby and push it out by Clemmy Hooper, who's a midwife. Laura's got a baby in her tummy. She's I'm, not just reading it for. I'm growing a baby, and at some point, and you're we'll, gonna have to push it out. I have to push it out on my bum. I used to think babies come out bum. <laughs> well, we'll we'll find out. I used to think. To begin with, I thought it was some sort of like through the skin of the tummy, <laughs> like an alien. and then I remember thinking, well, that obviously can't happen. It'll have to come out your bum. Yeah. Never for a moment did I think it would come out your fanny. Well, we'll find out. And I haven't had one yet, so I still can't confirm that for definite. <laughs> but yeah, she's a big Instagrammer at Mother of Daughters. She's got two, four girls, and it's so far I have actually started this one. It's quite well written. Oh, they're perfect, aren't they? Twinnies and two older ones. <coughs> <coughs> Lovely little guys. Yeah, so I'll be flicking through that. So if Laura's going to stick to a same sort of schedule that I am, an hour, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Oh, I might good. go Denmark, Thriller, Baby. Yeah, to round it up at the end. Yeah, because actually, if I'm really loving this, I might not. I okay. might. I don't know. It's, that's the beauty of it. It's cosy, it's chilled, you can do what you want. Yeah. You can do what you like. Do what you like. What's that from? I don't know. 90s. From the 90s. So that's what we're going to be reading. <coughs> We've still got 35 minutes till it starts. We're going to go and have a little look at the food and show you what food we're going to be eating. Yeah? Yeah. I've also got you a present. What is it? It's behind my back. But you've already got one with you, but you can still use this. <gasps> oh, I like it. It's the slivering one. Mm, bitch. <laughs> I just noticed the green. I thought it was green and flowery. No, it's slivering. So I've got Hogwarts. Yes! And you've got slivering. I love it. Isn't it exciting? Yes, it was meant to be. Even though technically, according to Pottermore, I am a Ravenclaw. But You're not a Ravenclaw. No. We know. Pottermore does lie. Pottermore doesn't know me, the real me. No, the slivering. Now, I might be slightly concerned this is too much food for two people, but I've got Linda McCartney's frozen vegetarian sausage rolls. I tried some of these earlier this week. They are amazing. I don't think I'd like things that are like meaty, fake meat. fake meat, but they don't really taste like fake meat, but they taste like sausage rolls. They're like really amazing. Very good. We've also got some coloured dim sum with ginger soy dip. If I just move this across here, you can see these beautiful yellow guys. Look, that's what they look like. So in there is um, prawn beetroot, shumai, oriental vegetable, chive goyoza, which I think is that one, and then prawn turmeric, hakeo maybe, and you get a ginger and soy thing. Nice. Laura bought this. <laughs> Low key. What do you call it? <laughs> Low brow garlic baguette. Low brow garlic baguette. Um, and then I've also got, look at these yellow stickers, reducing Sainsbury's. Prawn toast. I love prawn toast. And the thought of eating four prawn toast myself. Exciting. And we've got two of these little higgledy piggledy guys. Um, cauliflower cheese quiche with oat crumble. I've had this one before. Maybe I haven't. Little mushroom feta and spinach pie. I don't think I've had either of those. And then cauldron for love. Oh, God, this is so much food. Mini poppadoms. And then these are for the later time. Strawberry laces. And also Laura bought some um, cake from the cafe. What is this? Black Forest Gatto cake. Black Forest Gatto and banana bread. Yes. Banana bread is my fave. So I feel very excited about all that. So this is what we're going to... We're going to, look at that, if I have to pan right out to even show you. Um, going to start putting things in the oven about 7 o'clock so we can eat it just a little bit in. Excited! Right, what candle do you want? Smell that one. Okay. Mrs. Coulter. And then we've got two wax melts. Sorry, we're going really close into your face. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Am I choosing them based on the quality of scent or...? Just on what, what you want to be smelling for, for your evening. I mean, that is nice. Mm. That's a wax melt. Mm. It's sexy, isn't it, that one? Mm. Serafina Pecola. Mm. Pecola? Would you say it like that? Yeah, she is sexy. She is. Sensual woman. Oh, that's interesting. I like that. Do you know what? It smells like sweet, like sherbet. It makes me thirsty. Yeah, it does smell like something that would pop in it's your mouth. It's lemon and ginger. I like this one. I like all of them, but I prefer, this is my favourite. Okay, let's have that then. Serafina Pecola. Wax melt from William and Joseph. Well done, William and Joseph. And she's going to be in this book I'm going to be reading. Perfection. Let's get it going. Mimi. Where are you going? Away. You're going away now. Bye. Hey. How are you getting on, Laura? Oh, look, you look the epitome of coziness there. Oh, look. A double blanket. Double blanket. Top that looks half, so... bottom half. This is the 
alpaca blanket. It's baby alpaca. Baby no, alpaca. I don't think any alpacas were harmed. No, they they're friendly like... alpacas. Yeah. Nice. They, it just fell off them. They collected it from the floor. And they come in so many colours, the alpacas. Orange alpacas, green alpacas. Mm. Hey, getting on with the book. I mean, I already want to move there. Yeah, it didn't take me long. I wanted uh, to move and there. I'm still on the prologue. Which oh. is very long, by the way. Yeah, I remember the prologue being a lot like it's when I listened like to the audio. It's like the first chapter, really, because it's telling well, you how they get there. It's set, so the chapters are set in months. So the first chapter will be, so there's 12 chapters plus a bonus Christmas chapter. So that's why they probably made it a prologue. Okay, well, they're, they're, they have decided and the removal people have come to move them out of London. Lovely. So we are. And I'm very cosy. She's very cosy. So I'm two chapters into Northern Lights. Absolutely love Northern Lights. We're just about to start Lyra's Jordan. Look at that little guy there. Um, we were just talking, weren't we, about how disappointed we were in the film. It was poo. So disappointed of the film. Really, really. I was, I, it. I was disappointed, but I think I've blocked it from my memory. As yeah, to, I feel like I need to see it again. Why, it was why were so you disappointed? Bad. But we, we were saying like the cast was really good. I just feel like it never got off the ground. No. No, disappointing. But this is making me... I, I'm so happy I've started rereading. I'm going to reread the whole three this year. Um, but it's just, it's just a, a deep joy. So onwards. And we're about to eat some food as well, which is nice. <laughs> sea of beige. <laughs> Although that's not beige. So we've got quite a lot here. We've got a cauliflower, cheese, an oat pie, a spinach. I'm really touching them as well. A spinach. <laughs> spinach and ricotta, I think. Uh, Linda McCartney sausage rolls, which are really pale, but are actually delicious. Tomato ketchup, obviously, because you can't have them without them. Uh, prawn toast. Then we've got dim sum, turmeric and... <laughs> Look at this photographic opportunity um turmeric and prawn chive and vegetables and beetroot and prawn although one of them's fallen over laura's lowbrow <laughs> yeah, i mean we couldn't even have turned that around to make it but i've already had a piece as well I just can't and wait. falafel and then that's the dim sum dip beige Exciting. oh look here comes mini so that's what we're going to be eating so and we're into the second hour now as well so i need to exchange books change books hello hello we're about to go into the last hour i've got a proper like like lurch on around here. So how did you get on? What have you just read for an hour? The trap. Yeah. What's it like? So good. So good. I've yeah. read four chapters. Yeah. And the main character is very intriguing. She's Ooh. sort of a recluse Ooh. living in a house, and she basically suffers from depression. Mm. And now we're leading into hearing about how her sister was murdered. Oh. Cheery. Sounds cheery to and me. Cozy. Cozy. So just going into the last hour, we've eaten quite a lot of the old food. Look, there it is down there. We've got the fire on. We've paused it for the minute. We've been carb loading. We've, I feel, you thought I was going to have to have a lay down. I feel like I do need a lay down now. <laughs> um, last hour, I'm going to be reading My Cousin Rachel with my cousin Laura. My Cousin Rachel. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's it. That's the only cousin I need today. <laughs> it's really hard to get, like, there we go. <laughs> I'm going to be reading that Laura what will you be reading in the last about, you are going to go on to that about growing a baby very good she's got one of those in there so how has it been have you been enjoying the hour hour bursts of reading yes very much so yeah it does help I've done very well I've read like so far I've read um, a few chapters of Northern Lights a few chapters of Harry Potter I'm now about to do this look at Minnie in the background just can't always trying to take the uh, take the shine away but yeah, we're going into the last hour. Maybe a cup of tea and a bit of cake in a minute. What do you think? <laughs> we're having cake. Cake. What is this cake? It's Black Forest cake. So it's chocolate and cream and it's got little um, naughty cherries on it and also some blueberries. Naughty cherries. This is. I like the way you put yours on a beautiful plate. <laughs> but me, I get it on the lid what? of a box. No, no fork. Well, I, just, I didn't know whether you wanted it. <coughs> oh, well, thanks. I'm going to go for a bit of banana well, cake because it's my fave. I knew that I thought you And then I've got a little bit of tea left. That's what I'm doing. Banana cake. Look at you. Oh my god, that's a lovely bit of banana cake. Look at you, multitasking cake, book, tea, fire. I'm so pink. <laughs> I think it's just this lighting. I thought it last time. I look like Phil Mitchell. No, you don't. <laughs> now I look like. No, you don't. Look at me like Phil Mitchell. Guys, your reading night is over. We've done it. 10.07. Now. We're going to do a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> do a frozen jigsaw puzzle. She's going to, are you going to get it? And guess what we're going to watch? Save the Last Dance. Yes. Did I buy that food for Christmas or just as a, here it is, this is a present for both. I think I bought it for you and said it's a present for both of us. You wrote on the gift tag, dear Laura and Lauren. 
Yeah, day to day. Yeah. So you're going to watch that and do a jigsaw puzzle and eat some more cake. But we've had a lovely time, haven't we? Yes, very lovely. Have you enjoyed it? Yes, I have. have you, do you feel cosy? Very cosy. It's been very cosy. It's been very, very nice and relaxing and I've read quite a lot yeah um but I'll talk about more of that in my wrap-up I've started two books that I'm started excited about two continuing books. yeah so how are you going to do this now what are you going to go to uh <clears throat> I might oscillate oh between these two cool obviously this is a dipper in a dipper outer dippy so dippy we can ignore that one but I'm absolutely pumped to continue with both of these good well I read my cousin Rachel Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and Northern Lights. I think I'm going to carry on with Nor. No, I'm going to finish my cousin Rachel first because the other two are rereads, so I can go back to them at any time. Re, 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 read. When the crowd say bow, select up. <laughs> the end. Bye. Bye. What larks were had. What a wonderful time it was. It really was lovely. Um, I think David was a bit jealous, actually. He had a lovely time on his stag do, but it's not his stag do. We're not engaged. Um, but you said you wished you were relaxing, didn't you? Yeah, I like to relax. He's, he likes to relax. He's laying on the bed next door relaxing. We've got to go out in a minute. Chop, chop, David. Um, so, as you can see from the vlog, throughout the night, I read a selection of three different books. Put the again had to put the cactus down because he just gets a bit in the way, but I still love him dearly. Um, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. So I got to page thirty four of this. This is the third chapter, I believe. Um, loved this. Really, very yeah. Into the third chapter. Really gorgeous, joyful book to be reading on a cozy reading night. I, I picked three books which I really enjoy doing, like differentiating the hours through, like hour one read this, hour two read this, hour three read this, but. All three of them, I could have easily sat and read for three hours. So I think next time, maybe I'll pick two books and do an hour and a half each, um, just to get a bit more of a feel for the book. Because now I've got three books that I have not finished, as well as the two books and the audiobook I'm listening to. Six unfinished books. Ah! So um, this I'll be coming to um, later. But as it's a reread, I can come back to it a bit later on. Um, I also read uh, the first... Chapter, I'm, I'm into chapter three, page 38 of Northern Lights. Again, this is a reread, um, absolute deep joy. Um, I love the deep, uh, the deep. I love the dark, his dark material stories. Um, again, it's a reread, so I will be coming back to that a bit later on. But the one I'm going to finish right now, and I've actually been reading this morning, um, was My Cousin Rachel by Daphne du Maurier. Daphne du Maurier can do no wrong in my eyes. I absolutely adore her writing. So this is, um, I'm onto chapter five of this, so I'm about 40 pages in. Um, this was a bit more, I read this in the last hour and it was a bit more involved than these two, obviously being children's books and being, I can't pick up the other one, but being children's books, <coughs> I'm sorry, I've got such a rank cough, um, and rereads. Um, I love this atmosphere already. So it tells, um, it, it starts with, it's a male narrator, which is a, Daph I haven't read a Daphne du Maurier book with a male narrator yet. Um, Philip has been raised by his cousin Ambrose. Um, he goes away every winter and has gone away and then ends up staying a long, long time, meets someone um, who he ends up marrying and um, Ambrose has just died. Um, but before he died, he sent a, a couple of very strange letters like Rachel, this woman he's met and married, she's after me and blah, blah, blah. So um, Philip went out to Italy to meet them and um, when he arrived, he got told that his cousin Ambrose had died. Um, he's yet to make, meet my cousin Rachel, but it's just such a suspense building amazingness. And also like, she must've been super well-traveled because she just describes places so well. I actually felt like I was in Italy. <laughs> like, she just does it so good. So those are the three books that I read. The snacks, we had a lovely time with all the snacks, a nice buffet, beige buffet selection. You saw it all there. Just a lovely, lovely time, blankets and everything. Now, I did mention when I was live on Twitter and um, Instagram, live on Twitter and Instagram, um, that very evening, that um, I, I would like people to let me know if you're interested in me doing these seasonally. So obviously I did a autumn cozy reading night, which we had in, um, which we had in November. Then I've just done the winter one today in February, uh, yesterday in February. And then um, are people interested in me doing a spring and a summer one? Or is it more cosy? Because I'm aware that people in other time zones take part as well. So maybe I'll do like a spring uh, spring reading night and like a summer chilled reading night, maybe outside in a garden on my balcony or something. On my balcony, I love all the drunken people from the pub going, Ray! Um, but yeah, if people would be interested in that, then do let me know because I really enjoy doing them. And it's just a nice, 
it's nice to put aside three hours of your own time to just do a bit of reading and just like look after yourself for a bit, which I really, really love. So thank you so much for everyone that joined in. Let me know how you get up, get on, uh, got on. If you've got a wrap up or a vlog or something, then do link it down below because I will check them. Um, I've also watched Simon's uh, vlog from the evening. He did a very good job. Lots of, Minnie didn't appear much in mine. I feel like I've a wasted opportunity there. She was sulking because her daddy was away. She doesn't really like to be out in public when um, when David's not here. But yes, I had a lovely, lovely time and thanks so much for joining in for everyone and I'll see you all again soon for another booktube video.